Hello, my creative friends, and welcome to another episode of The Daily Prompt. In today's Daily Prompt, I want to talk about a question that seems, I don't know, challenging for newer writers, maybe frustrating for intermediate-level writers, and people who've been at this for many years. They, <laughs> at what point, <laughs> at what point do you wonder, ah, should I keep going or not? The question is, how long does it take to become a screenwriter? The, <laughs> the short answer is, of course, it depends on every writer. There's no one set amount of time. The one thing that I would say consistently, however, is that it's going to take a lot longer than you think. Now, at first, that's probably going to sound a little depressing, a little frustrating, because we have these ideas, we see the opportunity, we want to just be able to snap our fingers and make it happen. And I got to tell you, I am the first in that line. I would love nothing more than to be able to snap my fingers and have every person who comes at me with a decent idea to be able to turn that idea into something we could actually use. In fact, I've spent literally 20 years now trying to build the mechanism by which we can do that. The, the, the longer term vision for what I'm trying to more fast screenplay into in the years ahead basically is trying to condense and and, and make that happen faster and faster. Uh, not for the purpose of speed, but simply so that we can take advantage of all the crazy opportunity that's available to us. Ultimately, if I was going to say sort of a just a cut to the chase, what's a round number, how long does it take? I would say that it takes somewhere on the order of 10 to 15 years to go from nothing to becoming a professional uh, screenwriter, to be able to to being able to consistently write at that level, to being able to consistently take other people's ideas and turn them into not just a screenplay, but an actually viable screenplay that that those other people could actually then go and use. Now you might think, well, I don't want to write stuff for other people. I want to write my own stuff. So how long does it take to do that? And the reality is, the, the craft of screenwriting is an incredibly complex and nuanced craft, and it's the, it's the complexity and the nuance of it that makes it so challenging and, and takes so much time to learn. Here's the biggest problem. If you know nothing about storytelling or language or grammar or, or uh, word usage or how to, put, how to string words together to create an impact upon the reader, if you know nothing about all that stuff, you have to learn a lot of the basics, you have to, you have to develop uh, the these abilities over time. If you look at a screenplay, if you go download some free screenplay off the internet, it's a pretty sparsely written document. And because it's so sparsely written and because you have an idea and you've seen lots of movies and so you have a general sense of maybe shape of story and you think, well, I could certainly do something like that. And so you go out and you get some free software and you bang out a script. How long does that take? Well, that can take as little as a couple of days, frankly. But if you don't understand the nuances of it, if you don't understand how to tell a story, if you don't understand the nature of visual storytelling, if you don't understand pacing and suspense and tension and character building and, and world building and dialogue and scene nuances and how subplots in, in, interact with theme and how on and on and on. If you don't understand those things, then that first thing that you write, that you just go grab some formatting software and you start banging out your project and you start <laughs> handing it around town, we're not going to be able to do anything with that. My production company received nearly 30,000 project submissions. I personally read about 7,000 screenplays. And what I can tell you is a good 25 to 30% of those projects fit that mold. Fit the mold of people who are basically have an idea, go out and get some formatting software and think that that's what makes them a screenwriter. Now, just because you can write something formatted in screenplay format does not mean that you're actually writing a screenplay. It doesn't mean that you're actually a screenwriter. And I would argue that the, the, real, the thing that makes it take time is that it's the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the tenth project where you're where you're making the mistakes, where you're where you're putting words down, where you're creating stories that aren't actually working, that helps you see and understand the nuances of how it works. One of the analogies that I always use is a musical instrument. Let's say it's the violin, right? I don't know how a violin works, but it looks something like this, right? I can read a book, I can watch some YouTube videos, I can go, okay, they hold it like this, it works like this, I put my fingers like that, got it. 
But until I actually pick up that violin or play the piano or guitar, or whatever it might be, until I actually pick that up and do it, I'm not going to know what it feels like. I'm not going to know the nuances of how it works. And maybe if I angle the blade, I don't know what they call it, <laughs> if the, the bow, <laughs> if, they, if, they, if I angle that differently, it's probably going to make a slightly different sound. Or if the connection doesn't happen with those strings quite properly, then it's not going to sound right. It's going to screech. It's going to be... It's going to be ineffective. Now, that's kind of like what an early screenplay is. That's kind of like what a newbie who's all enthusiastic and has this great idea and wants to take the world by storm and, and get some free software and starts blasting it out and goes and knocks on the door. That's It's like someone screeching on the violin and you go, well, okay, I see that you're moving your bow across the violin, but you're not actually a violinist yet. It's going to take time to be able to do that. It's going to take time to understand the nuances of it. So what I suggest to writers is if you, you may already have a further head start on it. If you've been studying screenwriting, if you've read all the books, if you've read the Robert McKees and you've read the Sid Fields and you've read the Blake Snyders and you've read the Linda Seeger and you've read the Vicky King and you've read the John Truby and you've read on and on and on. If you've read all this stuff, I would argue that doesn't make you a screenwriter either because most of all of that stuff, it's great, it's good, it's valuable, I encourage it, I did it. It's, it's, it's necessary to understand a lot of these basics and all, a lot of these principles. But at the end of the day, most of that is about helping you take an idea and shoehorn it into some pre-existing formula or some, some, some accepted approach. That's not about helping you find your voice. That's not about helping you find your story. That's not about about you developing the skills that are going to make you marketable, that are going to make you someone that other people, that producers and actors and directors want to work with. If all you can do is do paint by numbers, then you're not exactly going to be a, a, a painter that anybody collects, right? You're not going to be someone that we embrace and we go out of our way for. So maybe you have to write a couple of those early scripts where you're following instructions and you're doing paint by numbers and you end up with something that can't really sell. See, the, the, the big challenge, the big problem that I find with most everything that's out there, screenwriting courses and books and all that stuff, is that when you get to the end of it, they wave you on your way and, and say good luck to you. They, they don't really care if you succeed at it. I mean, they do, they're not mean people, they're not, not everybody's just out to take your money. Um, but there's, there's no skin off their nose if if you don't then sell that work. Most work that's created in a workshop or in a class or in a course or online or whatever doesn't go on to get produced. Most of it is, and that's not really even what the focus is, is part of what I'm trying to introduce that's different. I, I, I want to produce the films of the people that go through and develop these actual skills because most people don't have these skills. So in order to get to the point where we can make the films, we need people to have the skills. And how do they get those skills? They need to put time and energy into it. So if you, let's say you were great in English class and you're great with uh, creative writing along the way, or maybe you've read all the books already and you've done a couple of classes. And so you've, you've tried writing a bunch of screenplays that haven't worked and haven't connected and you're a little frustrated. Maybe you're two years into this or four years into this or six or eight years into this. Does that mean you're that much closer to that project? I don't know. It depends on you. It depends on how well you understand what the ultimate goal is of screenwriting. Screenwriting, screenplays only exist to be turned into a movie. Screenplays don't exist for any other reason. So if you're just writing screenplays, following somebody's instruction without any sense of how is this going to actually connect with a real world producer who's who has his own set of metrics that he needs to consider. Is this something that we can actually get money for? Is this something we could actually get director, actors, whomever to want to to do this stuff? Is this something that we actually think there's a market for that we could recoup whatever money it is? If not, then can we shrink the budget so that we don't have to sell as many tickets? Like there's so many things that that really just aren't taught in the screenwriting realm. And so, so a lot of people, I was reading a, a, a forum the other day and somebody, somebody said, I've written six or 10, I can't remember, screenplays. Uh, 
I'm an, I'm a, I'm a newbie. <laughs> Am I ready to go out and and get an agent? <laughs> and the 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 resounding answer seemed to be yes. And here's how you go about querying agents. Once you've written a certain number of screenplays, you're ready to go knock on doors. And I thought that's the worst possible advice because that advice assumes assumes a lot about the scripts. It's not about how many screenplays you've written so far. It's about how well you've iterated it. It's about how well you understand the nuances of all of this stuff. If you've if you've simply bought some script formatting software and you have six different movie ideas and you sat and you blasted all, them all out so that you've got six screenplays in a two-month span of time, there is no way you have spent enough time understanding pacing or, or tension or slow suspense or how to introduce something and then call back to it later or how to, how to reinforce a character trait so that we understand when they, when, they, when they change so that we see what the theme of the movie is. If you don't know those things, just blasting out six scripts isn't going to get you any closer. So to say that if you, once you've written a certain number, once you fill up a certain number of pages, you're ready is is arbitrary and 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 unreal. And so, how long does it take to become a screenwriter? I truly believe it takes ten to fifteen years to discover all this stuff on your own organically. To write a, a six, <laughs> ten scripts in your first couple of years that really, when you look back on them five or ten years later, are not very good. Ask any professional screenwriter if what they think of their early scripts. They all say, oh my God, I can't even look at them anymore. They were terrible. It's because you've evolved so much in that time. You discover and understand the nuances as you go along. One of the biggest things, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a huge advocate of it at this point. I really believe that one of the things that screenwriters need in order to actually develop the skill to be screenwriters is they need the production process. They need to be able to see the work that they created actually turned into a movie. And by seeing, watching it turned into a movie, they'll be able to understand that the, the nuance of the from idea to story, I had to create it like so, but the translation of that to the screen, this was something that was great in theory. It's great on paper, but it doesn't work in a real world production environment. So now knowing that nuance, we go back with all of our skills and all of our abilities and we create new projects. And in that way, that's why it's this iterative learning process. I firmly believe that it's not possible to learn the craft of screenwriting by reading about it, by doing classes for it, by watching YouTube videos about it. It's not possible. The only way to learn the craft is to, to do it, to physically do it much in much the same way that it, the only way to learn how to play a violin is to physically do it. The uh, only way to learn piano is to do those scales over and over again and get your fingers familiar with it so that it's it's intuitive, it's natural. You you have a feel for it. That feel for it, it, it comes through experience. It comes through physical experience, through actually doing it. So how long does it take to develop that experience is going to depend on you. But one thing that it, that it does require is daily action. When I say when I say 10 to 15 years, I'm talking about putting an hour or two into it each day. That's kind of the point of why I built Fast Screenplay was so that we could condense that into a one, maybe two year process. One year to sort of learn how the whole process works and to guide you through that process. And then the next, once you have that, to iterate, write another project, write another project, write another project, develop and strengthen those skills because it's all organically, intuitively designed, it's designed to feed itself. Now, again, I, whether you join me or not, the point is you have to learn this way. You have to learn by doing. You have to actually write scripts that fall on their butt and learn why they fall on their fall, why they fell on their butt so that you can apply those lessons and, and adapt those nuances to the new projects. If you get really good at the plotting of something, but you're really terrible at the at character building or, or fleshing out real characters, or you way over describe absolutely everything that you write, or the tension and pacing of your scenes just isn't working. Do you know why it's not working? Is it because of your writing style? Is it because of your characterization? Is it because of your plotting? 
all three, any three, all three together could be the reason for it. And you're not going to know that on your very first project. You're not going to know that probably on your fifth or 10th project. And that's why it's only after writing project after project that you actually develop these skills and become someone who's viable. Now, yes, it's possible to fluke this. Yes, it's possible someone straight out of the gate happens to write a project that sells. Yes, it's possible that you could write something that's not terribly good and that sells because there are producers that don't necessarily care or know or they're just pursuing the dollar or whatever it is. And so they're willing to accept something less. I really believe that everyone has stories inside us. So I really believe you should do and, and you can achieve and you ought to reach for the very best that you can achieve. And, and, and that means developing skill. That means taking the time to do something. That means trying to take this, this long process and shrink it down. Um, so many people think that you can buy a, a book that tells you how to write a script in three weeks and that three weeks later you're going to have the thing that can compete with the writers who've been doing it for 30 years who are at the very top of their game. That's what you're imagining if you imagine you can shrink this down into a couple of weeks. That's what you're imagining if you think you can shrink this down into a year or two years. If you can actually shrink it down into a smaller time frame on your own, organically, you're in some ways disrespecting the writers who've literally spent hours every day honing, developing, making this craft intuitive. So how long does it take? I don't know. It depends on you. If you have an aptitude for it, if you have a natural skill, if you have a sense of language, if you're, if you love telling stories, if you've got some innate sense of some of these things, or if you've spent some time working on that, you're probably a little closer. You may need to stop focusing on these one or two things that you keep focusing on over and over and maybe focus on the parts of the process that you've been under developing. In that way, maybe you'll get there maybe the penny will drop, maybe it will snap together. If you're newer and you don't know any of that stuff, you really do need to learn the whole process. You really do need to go through the whole thing. And again, whether it's with me or whether it's on your own, doing your own thing, that's fantastic. I, I would urge you to not spend all your time watching YouTube videos. The vast majority of you, and I'll make another video about this at some point, but the vast majority of people teaching screenwriting on YouTube are doing it for their own self-interest. They're, they're either doing it to build their profile or they're, they're doing it to show other people how much they know or to build an audience, try to sell you something, whatever it might be. Very few people, maybe none, <laughs> are are actually trying to get writers to write stuff that they could then go on to produce, the, who are actually putting stuff out there to try to get people to create what's missing in the workplace, in the, in, in the marketplace, in the environment. Those skills, those, those nuances that really do take 10 to 15 years to develop over time, uh, those of us who are looking for material to actually physically produce recognize that we need writers to have those skills. And if you think you're going to acquire those skills and de develop those nuances much quicker, all you're really doing is making it take much longer. And so I would urge you, implore you, ask you, request of you to settle in and to accept that it's gonna take time, that it's probably gonna take a bit longer than you think. But that's not a bad thing, that's a, that's a really good thing. Because if you really take action every day, if you really keep doing the work, if you really follow through with this stuff, there is infinite, unlimited opportunity available to us all. And if you really take that time, nobody else is doing it. The future is yours, success is yours. But you have to learn by doing. You have to develop your craft. You have to get really good at it so that when you're in that room and you can talk to those people, not only are you able to tell them that you can do it, you're able to demonstrate that you can do it as well. So for today's daily prompt, what I would love to have you do is just take a 
step back and ponder and think about your own journey. How much time have you actually put into this? Is this something that you would like to do more efficiently, more fluidly? You want to join me in fast screenplay and make shrink that time down because I've condensed it and made sure that we focus on all the things that 99% of writers are not focused on? Do you want to do it your own way? If you've been doing it your own way, you think you're closer than I, you think... <laughs> You think you're closer than my video might make you assume I think you are? <laughs> that was confusing. Um, then go ahead and, and, and give it a shot. I, I want the best for you. I want you to succeed. As, we, as I told you in, an, in a, a video a couple of videos ago, I want you to succeed whether you join me or not. Because I really do believe that when you succeed, even without me, we'll be able to work together and build this thing together. Uh, so it, whether you join me or not is entirely secondary. What I need you to do, what I hope you will do is take stock of where you're at and really think about letting go, letting go of some of those expectations and settling into it, making a commitment to take action every day and continuing to move forward every single day towards your goal. The opportunity is there for us all. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.